Hey Jazz Fanatics, thank you for all the likes, comments, and subscribes based on last episode's question. I specifically want to thank Tim, Connor, Dave, Lionel, Peter, and Gianni for directly commenting on the video page itself, and I encourage you all to do the same during this series. All the comments were very insightful, and I believe we have a majority in favor of rhythm, which makes sense because music is felt just as much as it is heard. And it's interesting to note that jazz was most popular when it was actually dance music before bebop. Melody came in second, and that makes sense because everyone at some point has attempted to sing something. Of course, jazz harmony was a distant third because it's an acquired taste that develops as one studies the music. I'm going to expand on each of these elements in the upcoming episodes, but I wanted to leave you with one simple universal way to relate to any audience. When I play a leader date, I make out a set list before the gig, and before I even list the tunes, I give myself a checklist. Did you notice what was at the top? Smile! I have to admit, I'm one of these people where somebody could ask the question, are you having fun? Well then notify your face. It's not natural for me to smile on the bandstand. I often have a horn in my mouth, I'm thinking about the next thing, or I just simply forget. And it's not because I'm not having a good time, I am. But if people don't see me having fun, how are they gonna have fun? Who would wanna be a part of that? Smiling is the universal gateway to invite people into the experience and the conversation. So, unless your music is commenting on a tragedy or is paying tribute to someone who has recently passed, lighten up. As Kenny Werner used the analogy in his book, Effortless Mastery, music is just not that important when you have a plastic bag tightly wrapped around your head. In the comments section, I would like to hear from you about your experiences with non-musician and non-jazz audiences and what you did specifically to connect with them.